welcome back now what we need to do is that we need to test and in order to test we need to do a few things the first step is that you need to make sure that your Apache web server as well as the MySQL both are up and running so make sure that they are both up and running the second step is that you need to open the terminal if you are using Mac you need to open the terminal if you are using Windows you need to open the command prompt whether you use whether you open the command prompt or terminal that comes with the with the uh, uh, with the operating system you can use the, the the one that comes with the operating system or you can open the one that comes with your uh, with your text editor or IDE so you can here click on view and then and then terminal and then this is going to open another terminal here so it's it's the same you can use this terminal this terminal or you can use this one both will work uh, but if you are using this terminal you need to change directory to your folder so this folder make sure that you are pointing to this folder so if you are using the the terminal here you need to you need first to cd to your desktop and then cd to the name of the project so if if your project name is if your project is uh, is named chat bot you need to say chat bot and then you can continue uh, similarly if you are using windows you need to open the command prompt you need to open the command prompt and uh, you can follow along it's the same there is nothing different uh, there is no difference between uh, windows and mac they are the same in terms of the commands that i'm going to type here now you need to type php and then minus capital s and then local host and then colon 8000 and then hit enter this is going to run a local server as you can see this is the local server it says here start it now you need to copy this and then and then you need to open up the browser and now we we are no longer going to use the the static html and instead we need to paste this we need to paste this url and of course you need to remove the brackets here http and then localhost 8000 and then hit enter and as you can see this is going to start the um, this is going to start the uh, application and here it's going to say error because here I said remember in my application I said here in the code I said uh, I said here error we need to uncomment this because we we don't want to display this error all the time this is just for testing so you need to uh, comment this out you need to comment this out now let me refresh and test so I'm going to now refresh one more time and then I'm going to say here remember the the messages that we have I have two messages I have hi and what's your name so let me say hi if I say hi and, and, and click on send as you can see I'm gonna get hello because the response for hi is hello let me say what's your name so I'm gonna say here what's your name and then question mark and then I'm gonna hit it um, and, and then I'm gonna click on send uh, message and as you can see I'm gonna get I am your assistant so it's working however if I say if I type a message that doesn't exist in the database for example um, who are you and then if I click on send as you can see what I'm gonna get is that I'm gonna get what so what it will be returned here from from this from this message what from this array because what will be will be returned in case in case the execution was not successful in case we couldn't find a response so now our chat chatbot is in a great now is is great and in uh, uh, is responding to use the to the user with the messages that we wanted it to respond with which is amazing